So you might have been in this situation before. You visit a website or open an application which requires you to sign up to have access. You don't want to share your personal email address, so you enter a random one. But after submitting, it tells you that you need to check your email for a confirmation link before you can continue. Now because you entered a random email, you are not able to proceed. This provides an extra layer of security for the login system. Now let's see how we can implement that in a login system. We will handle the backend staff in this episode and the front end in the next. We will build on a Node.js and MongoDB login backend that we built some time ago. I will link it up here and also in the description below. If this sounds interesting, let's jump right into it. The first thing we need to do is to open our command line and navigate to the directory of the project. Now we open the project in the code editor. Now inside the code editor, we see all the codes that we wrote in the first part. So inside the API directory, we have the route for our application, that is the sign up and the sign in. Inside the config here, we have the details about our database. And in the models directory, we have details about our user collection, that is the collection of data about our users. And inside the server.js, we have our server, which is running on port 3000. Now because we'll be working with a React front end later on, you want to change the port to port 5000 so that there will not be any conflict. Now the first thing we are going to do is to adjust the user model. So the user has name, email, password and date of birth properties. Currently, when the user signs up, we store all these details in our database. But to be able to differentiate whether a user is genuine or not, we want to add a verified property to it. This will be a boolean value which will have an initial value of false. Now also, when we are in the process of the verification, we want to generate some unique ID and send it to the user's email, which the user will use to verify the identity. So between the process, we want to store these details somewhere. So we'll create another model and we'll call it user verification. So inside the models directory, we create another file. Now we copy the content of user.js. Now for the properties, we will have a user ID, which will be a string. This will refer to the automatically generated ID of our user record. The next one will be the unique string. Now this will be a random string that we will generate for a particular user who is now about to verify the account. The next property will be the time that the account was created. And that will be a date. We also want to give it an expiry. And that will be it for our user verification model. Now inside user.js in the API directory, we want to import our user verification model. We will do that under the user model. Now at this point, we want to install some packages. The first package we would like to install is NodeMailer, that will enable us to send the emails in our application. Also we want to install UUID, which we will use to generate the random strings. We 
Once we are done, we import them into our API file. Now for the UUID, we'll do a little bit more. Now what is happening here is that the UUID has a sub model which is called version 4 and that is what we need in our application. So while importing it, we want to refer to it by UUID v4. Now for the node mailer setup, we'll make use of login credentials and we'll store these credentials in the .env file. So to be able to access these credentials, you need to bring in the .env config. So let's do that. We've already installed the .env package. Now let's visit the .env file and create our credentials. The first thing we need is the email. And the next thing is the password. But for this value, I will not show it to you. Now for the credentials that you provided, you have to ensure that it corresponds to a valid Gmail account. And also in the settings of the Gmail account, you have to ensure that if enabled access by less secure applications, and also, you are not using two-step verification. You also have to ensure that if enabled access via the Gmail capture. I will link a video up here which goes into details about that. Now the next thing we need to do is to create a node mailer transporter. The transporter will have a service of Gmail. It will also have an auth property which will take the values that we put in our .env file. Now at this point, we want to test if everything is fine with our transporter. Remember, it is the one carrying the message from the source to the destination. At this point, we can go ahead to save and try it out. So on the command line, we run the project using nodemon server.js. Now we see that our server is running and also the transporter is ready for our messages. So we can proceed. I will make our first change in the sign up block. After we are satisfied with the details of the user, we want to set a value for verified. So at the part where we create a new user, we want to add the verified property. And we want to set the value to false. Now after the user has been saved successfully, that is where we return a success message, we will cut this part off. And this is where we will send our verification email. So we will call a function here, send verification email. And as argument, we will pass the result and also the response.
this is where we have the response object. And that's all for this section. We proceed in the next one. Please leave a like and subscribe for more to the point code.